Good evening and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, update, I know it's been a little bit. Um, I'm actually into the long involved process of weathering this bad boy. Um, gone through, you know, we've shown, shown the, uh, the basic paint scheme, we've shown how we got it down and then, and then what we've done there. So then, now it's time to actually get the, to make this thing floppy. We've got the transfers on. All right, so we've done the transfers for the night owls. And this is following the, um, I believe this is owl 08. So there's a story about owl 08. Um, it's something you can Google and look up. And then once the transfers are down, the trick is getting the weathering done. So what you see so far is the rather, on this side, at least on this side, the rather rough and ready um, airbrush work. So I'm, I'm learning how to do airbrush work and get airbrush work done on this, on, you know, I, I'm not that good with an airbrush, so I'm learning. Um, and I was having some fits and fights with, with the airbrush on uh, the paints I was using, and, you know, I, I know it's me, so... Um, I have a little bit of, of things that are a little bit harsher than I would like them to be. So I will let the, the weathering that as I go back, go back into it and do the oil work, will sort of tone that down a little bit. And if I have to crack out the base coats again, the base colors again, and hairy brush, dry brush them on, um, I will. So what I've also done with this is gone through, we've given it, uh, we've given sand effects, dust effects, you know, in the corners and the sides, um, knocked down the colors along the top parts, given a bit of a fade to the top. Um, it's a you can't really see it because it kind of looks like lighting, which is sort of the point. Um, but it did fade the top here. Also worked in some dust effects up underneath and you can kind of see them. Um, We've also gone underneath here and knocked back a lot of the black. So with all that stuff done, now the more long involved process of doing the oil work, which is, again, somewhat tedious, but rather rather entertaining because, again, it's a, a technique that I'm learning. So this is, this is learning. Um, the F4 is a filthy bird. Um, and I like that. I really like how some of this is coming out. It's, it's merging the, you know, it's, it's tricking the eye and it's, it's definitely giving the aircraft a much more, um, a much more used and abused look. So, um, that tech, you know, the techniques are pretty straightforward to anybody who's familiar with oil, oil streaking. But these are the colors I'm using. Um, you know, the blacks and the browns a lot. The purples, the yellows, and the reds are adding some different shading colors into different spots on the on the um, on the color of the camo. And I'm finding them, like here, I'm finding them to to break up the colors a little bit more convincingly. And and it's um, it makes them not quite as obvious. You know, it. it when you look at the thing, you know, from, from not like, you know, an inch and a half away, the, it fades into, you know, it breaks up that, the color, it makes things not look, you know, plain and straightforward, you know, like up here, the colors are still pretty flat and, and unremarkable where further back, you know, you can definitely see where I've done and where I have it. Um, I'm going to have to be a little creative when I get over to the, the wing, but, um, like I said, now on the underside, with what I've gotten here, um, mostly dust effects and shading, and I'm not certain how how much I'm going to do under here. Um, you know, I am not going to display this on a on a mirror, so a lot of the underside is not going to be seen. We are going to have the missiles and the the drop tanks, I believe. Um, and when I say I believe, I think I'm going to do that. Um, just, you know, just for the fun of, of having built them and, and put it together. So those, those pieces, those bits of detail will be there, but, um, I'm, 
I don't know that it's worth it to go through all that effort um, to really hyper hyper weather all of this underneath um, where it's really just not going to be seen. I may do it again just to to learn new things and to practice. Um, I'll definitely be working the the pieces that will be seen. So like here, here, the front nose and there, and the back end underneath on the tail. Um, those those pieces will definitely be worked on, but you know, maybe maybe not quite as much attention to to the detail as I do on the upper wing and the upper fuselage. Um, but for the most part, you know, for those who are interested, the majority of the weathering is being done with you know these these oil paints right here. Um, I think these are what. Artlicious. I picked these up for, you know, a song and a dance from from the the great river of sails. Um, and then these are my, for the most part, actually all. There we go. This is the other one. These are my my oil brushes now. I have. I usually work in acrylics, so the majority of my paint brushes are acrylic brushes. But I have my set of oils, and these are the ones I use solely for oils. This is the this is my shading brush. You know, these are the, the streaking brushes and the, obviously the dot brushes and the feathering brush. So that's what I use them for and that's how I use them for those who are interested. Um, and that's it, you know, it's, that's pretty much where I am so far in the F4. Um, once I get the wings done here and the top and the underneath done, it, it'll be time to, you know, finish up the, the missiles, load the missile racks, get the missile racks mounted. Then put the canopy on and call it a day. But, you know, well, we've got quite a bit. This has been like three or four days worth of, you know, patient work with, you know, the brushes and, you know, cotton buds to, uh, to clean them up. So it's a very uh, entertaining process, but, um, and, and I think it's actually, you know, it wouldn't be as prevalent in the community if it wasn't effective. So, um, I still have a lot to learn, and you know I'm learning a very great deal on this on this particular kit. But I'm enjoying the heck out of it. So anyway, that's where I am so far on the F4. I uh, appreciate you guys following along as it are. And you know if anybody has any questions, statements, comments, concerns, suggestions, feel free to chirp them up in the in the uh, comments below. Um, and otherwise, you know if you're following on. I hope this inspires you to try some new things and pick up a model kit and have some fun. So with that, I will say good night and talk to you next time. Thank you.